In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to configure profile fields in the BodyBoss platform. So the purpose of profile fields is to allow you to have special field data on each user's profile that they can enter themselves, like name, age, gender, things like that, so they can have a complete profile on the website. So to actually edit this, you go into BodyBoss Profiles. And from here, you can see we have an interface here that's going to allow us to modify the profile field data. Out of the box, we get three fields, first name, last name, and nickname. All three fields are required to be in the system. You can't delete them. And the reason is because they are used on registration and other places in the site. So if I go to my profile, I can see first name, last name, and nickname. And I can click Edit Profile. And let's say I just change it to Eisen for a moment. Then if I go back here and click on Users, you can see that the WordPress data is being synced. So here it says Eisen. I'm going to put it back to Eisenwasser. And now back in my profile, it's synced again. So we've structured it this way so that everything remains in sync. You can add a user from the front end. They can register. It always makes sense. And the user can also change their nickname at any time. So if I go to my profile and click on edit, I could change the nickname, which is basically my handle at any moment. So what is the handle? Basically, if I come back to components and enable activity feeds, you'll see this is where the nickname really comes into play, that it displays that. And now in the timeline, someone can say at Michael, and it's going to send me a notification with the message. And having those three required fields also allows us to do things like this, where I go into settings profiles, and I could change how profiles display throughout the site like that. All right, so that's a little intro. Now let's go into some of the other cool fields we have. So when I go back to profiles, we have field sets. So anything that's in this sign up field set is going to be on the registration form. So I can click add new field and I'll give this field a title. I'll say favorite color and we can make it single line text. And I can rephrase it as a question if I'd like also, like what is your favorite color? So let's save that. And then we can go back to my profile and click edit. And now it asks me, what is your favorite color? And let's say blue and I'll save it. And then we can view my profile and see my answer. We could also change this to be, let's say a radio buttons and give some options. So we could say blue, red, yellow. And we could add a description, pick from the radio buttons. So let's save that. And then now if I go to edit my profile, favorite color, blue, red, yellow, let's go with red this time. We can save that and view my profile. And now we have that entered. So we have all the typical field types you've seen on other form builders. I'll show you a couple. I can click check boxes, click save. And then when I go to edit my profile, I have check boxes. And we have drop down, multi select, date, number field, paragraph text. Let me show you a paragraph. So now when I go here and click edit, we have a full paragraph text editor. And then we have phone number, single line text and website. Website's going to be a URL enter. So I'm not going to go through each one of those individually. I'm going to show you some special fields now. So let's go back to profiles and we'll create some new our fields in a new field set. As I mentioned before, these are the ones that appear on the registration form. Let me just show you that real quick. So we have email, password, and then we have first and last name, nickname, and then what is your favorite color? So these are all the fields that were in the default uh, sign up field set. We're going to go ahead and create a new field set and we'll call this personal info. We'll save that. And then in here, we're going to add a gender field. So I'll call this gender. And you can see the options we have male and female, which are required. I'll show you why in a moment. And you can relabel this as, as you want. And then we can add another one or optional if we want or delete that if you want to have other options in there. 
So let me just save this. And then when I come back here to edit my profile, I can go to personal info and I can select my gender as male, female, I prefer not to answer. Let's say it's male. And now when I go to the timeline, let's say Michael updated his profile. And if I said female, let's say Michael updated her profile. If it was another option, say Michael updated their profile. So as I mentioned in other videos, BuddyBus platform is a fork of BuddyPress. This was never there in BuddyPress. It would always say their profile, which to me just always looked kind of crappy. So now it looks much more professional with that. I'm gonna show you one more cool field, which is social networks. So I'm gonna say, add new field, and we'll call this one social networks, call it whatever you want. And we'll save this as social networks. And then from here, you can pick which social networks you wanna use from our list. You don't have to use all of them, you could add multiple. Okay, so let's save that. And then now if I come back to my profile and edit it, I can go to personal info. Let's add a social network. So let's say Facebook. So I'm gonna add the Buddy Boss Facebook account and I'll add the Buddy Boss Twitter account. So let me save that. And now when we view my profile, we have these social icons in here. So I can click Facebook or Twitter. It's gonna pop open the links I pasted. And then I'll also show you how you can customize the visibility of these fields. So any of these fields, you can select the requirement to be optional or required. If it's required, then the user needs to fill it out during registration if it's on the sign up form and they need to fill it out when they edit their profile. And then visibility, you can make it public, only mirror all members. Public means anyone can see the data entered, even a logged out user. Only me means only the person who is logged in can see it and also site admins. And all members means anybody who's logged into the site can see what they entered. And then this allow members to override means that, for example, when I go to edit my profile, I can change the visibility of this. If you, if you turn that off and say enforce field visibility, then the member can't ever change it. You force, you force it throughout the network. In some other videos, I'm gonna show you how to create repeater fields, which I think you're really gonna like. And I'll also show you how to configure a search form on your members directory which will allow members to search other members based on what they filled out in their profile fields.